Tēnā tātou kato. Good evening. 50,000 teachers have staged one of the biggest ever strikes in New Zealand. It was the first time kindergarten teachers teamed up with primary and high school teachers in what's being dubbed a mega strike. They were demanding not only more pay, but more support across the board. And the Education Minister, a former principal, promised to deliver, saying she's committed to doing better. Leighton Haeckel reports. An entire workforce fed up. One, two, three, four, teachers walking out the door. So fed up, they're fighting. If we can't teach, kids can't learn. Simple as that. For better pay. Oh my gosh, we get paid nothing. Like, really? For better working conditions. The workload is horrendous. My conditions are crap and I actually need some support. I'm burnt out, man. And fighting for the next generation. This is so important for the children of this country. This is only the second time both primary and secondary teachers have joined in a mega strike, and this time kindergarten teachers joined too. We're all aiming for the same thing. We're all passionate about children. Marching through the heart of Auckland, along the Avon in Christchurch, to the minister's office in Tauranga, and in the capital, they gathered in front of the halls of power. Thousands have turned up here on Parliament's forecourt, sharing their message directly with the government, directly with the Education Minister, Jantanetti, telling her the offer is not good enough. It's a hard position to be in because I have been where you are. I have stood out there right where you are now and I have protested. A mixed reception for the Minister, a former principal herself. Tomorrow we are back at the table. The offer teachers last rejected would have increased their pay by about $6,000, ranging from a 7 to 11% increase. They say they want an increase that reflects inflation, but it's not just about money. Well, I feel like the walking dead right now. The walking zombie. It's just too much on our plate. Teacher aides would be nice. Smaller class sizes. Go for it. <laughs> I know that we have to do better and I commit to you that we will do better. Because she does not want to see another strike. More than 800,000 students were disrupted today, forcing many parents to miss work too, though some showed up in support. We just need to look after them and treasure them so they don't end up going anywhere else. Even children protested too. I want teachers to be happy. And right now it's clear they are not. So Leighton, what happens next? Well, Laura, it is back to the negotiating table for the unions and the ministry from tomorrow. Uh, they will need to come up with a better offer because that is quite clearly what teachers demanded today right across the country. Jantanetti, the education minister, now she can't say what that offer might look like, uh, but she uh, is said that she wants to get it sorted as soon as possible. She wants to avoid any further strike action, admitting that this has all kept her up at night. Now, the unions want to avoid strike action too, they want to avoid disrupting students even further, so they are really hoping that the government listens because they won't rule it out if they don't. Leighton Haeckel, live from Wellington. Tēnā